It's Jalen Walker. This is Michael Williams. And welcome back to Bulldogs Unleashed. So we we're out of the fall camp stage. We're moving into the to the end season stage. How do you feel that how fall camp went for you? I feel like I had a solid camp. Uh, yeah, I showed up every day with the right attitude, worked. Uh, I improved in my game. Uh, I feel drastically, especially in like and uh, like my cover down and my pass rush aspect. They got better to it as camp went on, and uh, I'm excited about the season. I feel like I had a good camp. Uh, man. Camp for me, man, I felt like I had a, a pretty good camp. I felt yeah. like I attacked it in the right right mindset. Facts. Um put me in a put me on a different level of how the season gonna be for me. Yeah. It's, it's gonna be a scary sight coming around the season. So I'm excited for it. Um I mean, what do you feel how do you feel about, you know, going to the week one? You know, week one, it was just hundred <laughs> days. It was just hundred days, literally like maybe two blinks ago. Yeah, so facts. What do you feel what do you feel about, you know, uh, week week one right now? No, it definitely came fast. Uh, I'm excited, though. I'm super excited. Uh, it's been a while. It's been since Florida State. The last time we really put the pads on and played somebody different. So I'm excited to do that. Clemson a great opponent. Uh, it looked decent on tape. So, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for that challenge. That's real. So going back on our offseason, we've had a lot of, you know, previous offseason, we had, like, a lot of, you know, themes. Yeah. You know, you know last year, soon nothing. No, this, but, you know, yeah. this year, um, Soon, man. You, you know, it's maybe the same thing, but we still yeah. have, you know, we have Mudia. Oh, yeah, you know, facts, Finding facts. joy and other success. You know, if you didn't know that word, now you do. Um, you know, great, great thing we have going on with the team. You know, I feel like that, that prides the team. That pushes the team in the right direction. You know, finding joy and other success. So Mudia mm -hmm. is spelled what? M-U-T-I-D-A? M-U-D-I-T-A, something like that. Go yeah. with that one. So, um, you know, I'm excited. So, what, what, do you, what do you expect from this team this year going on? I expect that to be the same, you know, the same Georgia. Like we still, we still got our standards and our pillars. All right. But uh, this team definitely different than the last two teams that we've been a part of. Sure. So I expect us to come in and uh, and play up to our standard. But uh, I feel like I don't, I don't know, I don't know how to say it, but I feel like our, this team different for sure. Oh, most definitely different. Yeah. I feel like we got a just just because we have a we're a younger team, we yeah. got like a different edge. It's like yeah, it's facts. new energy. It's, yeah, it's that's what I'm saying. Like, it's for sure new it's energy. A, it's a new energy um, in the, in the building. It's crazy because sure. we, we're a part of it. Like, we're we're leading it. Yeah, and it's like we're witnessing it for ourselves. Like, we aren't. That's true. We aren't the younger guys right now. We're the older guys witnessing this new energy that we have to adapt to. Because you know, we got to make sure everybody a part of the team just more within the team. We ain't trying to have no outliers. No, nobody feel like they're left out. What you think our mindset is this year? Like, Man. how do you feel like we're gonna go back and get what we left on the field last year? I'm trying to be the bank teller. Yeah. I'm trying to be <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. I'm the same way. I'm trying, to get bank all, I'm trying to get all the bread that yeah, I left man. on the field, man. Just, it's just so many opportunities that I feel like last year just like was right in front of me. Yeah. But I just didn't capitalize. Me man. too. And now me it's just too. like I, I realize it. I realize what I did. I realize the things I can counter back from. Yeah. To, you know, pick up all the bread off the table. So, like me, I ain't gonna lie, like, Far Camp kind of like, Kind of what we were talking about earlier. Yeah. Fall camp kind of like it showed me that the game kind of slowed down to me. Almost it was slowed. It slowed down last year, but it slowed down even it's, a little it's, oh, more. Yeah, like man. it's like, like you I'm feel seeing, the same. Like, yeah, I'm, you feel the same. I'm seeing everything. Like, yeah, me too. I feel like I'm seeing everything on a slower scale. From yeah, facts. Co compared to freshman year to now, going to play Oregon. Night and day. The Oregon game. It, it's night and day difference. Night and day I mean, difference. It's, it's crazy, but like yeah. I'm excited, man. It's just. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of money we left last year that I'm yeah. just ready to pick up and you know show everybody what we've been working for in the off season. So I'm excited. I'm that's excited. you said something right there, just to show everybody like all the work that's been put in. Same. That's why I can't wait to play. Got about six days left till we kick it off. Man, I'm not even counting like the days that travel today, the travel day, and then I ain't counting like the weekend. I'm, 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 I'm about to an <laughs> hour, a minute, a second now. I'm trying, I'm trying to get ready to roll. So Georgia and Clemson. They shared, they went, I think it was 1980, and then 1981, they traded back-to-back -back national championships. So mm -hmm. they've had a long history of, you know, playing each other. And, of course, uh, a couple years back, they played each other in the uh, and, opener and Charlotte. in Charlotte. Yeah. I, was, I was in attendance of the game, so I felt like it was pretty cool. So um, what do you, how do you feel about, do you see Clemson as a rivalry game? 
a robbery? I wouldn't say it's a robbery. I just say it's a good game for sure. Yeah. I wouldn't say I say robbery is like Florida, like every yeah, Arbor. Sure. You feel me? Like every year. And they out play. of conference too. So yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Playing like, them consecutively over the year. Yeah, I say it's a good game for sure though. Like it's definitely gonna be somewhere the fans can get up for. You feel me? Oh, for, you know, yeah, Clemson's a good team historically over the last like ten years. Yeah. I would say, and Georgia's Georgia. So like, Dude, so that's a good game for the fans to get up for. But I wouldn't say robbery. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel the same. I feel like you know, they're two, you know, two both good football teams, but mm -hmm. we don't play them every year like yeah. Florida. Yeah, facts. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's the game. Okay, cool. Auburn. That's a robbery. Those, like, those, those are robbery. two games. Those are Georgia Tech. Yeah, yeah. Like, those, them yeah. three games, like them robbery games. Like people, those are staple games for us. Yeah, like, facts. But, um, so, bro, Clemson recruited you pretty hard, bro. Like, yeah. I feel like they was one of your finalists. I feel like they was in your top five, right? Yeah, they were. Yeah, right. So, uh, you got any relationship with the guys over there? Like, how you feel about the staff? Like, what's your thoughts on Clemson? You know, they, were, I mean, they recruited you heavily. Yeah, um, going through that process, it was, you know, I enjoyed the recruiting process. It was a fun time for me. I, mean, I got a lot, of, meet a lot of guys that, shoot, gonna be my lifelong friends for a long time. But, you know, some guys end up committing to Clemson and going to Clemson. Some guys end up being in a different position of going somewhere else as well. So, mm -hmm. being in that part, it's pretty cool, but uh, the coaching staff is great coaching staff, you know, they're uh, good people. And of course, you know, during the time of my recruitment, it was Coach Venables as the uh, defense coordinator. So uh, Coach V, he had went to uh, Oklahoma mm -hmm. being a head coach. So, you know, that was a great opportunity for him. But, you know, besides that, you know, I think they took half the staff with him. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, I feel like, you know, most of the guys, you know, who were – who left with him, they're good people as well. Mm -hmm. But you know, I do know Wes Goodwin, who was the uh, defense coordinator, he was like a GA mm -hmm. at the point in time. So like, it's me seeing him get the job, like as defense coordinator during that time, like, oh yeah, I'm, man, that's, that's pretty big time for him. Like, that's yeah. pretty proud, you know, that's a good, uh, good, good thing for him. But, Growth. Um, you know, Clemson, you know, was, you know, one of my top schools, but I, you know, I've always, you know, uh, made the best decision for myself, uh, you know, you know, commit to University of Georgia, you know, I, and I don't regret it. Uh, not a day, not an hour, not a second of uh, me doing that, so. Bro, how comfortable you feel playing in the band, bro? Man. I feel like we playing it so much, it's almost like I see. Home. We have like guaranteed playing in the bands. At least once a year. At least once a year. At least once. But I mean, like, you think about it, we played SEC Championship there. That's right. Um, we played, we played Ohio State there. Mm -hmm. um, Oregon first. We played Oregon. The start of the year. Played Oregon there. Well, now we're playing there again, the beginning of the year. Yeah. And then, shoot, we had an opportunity to do what we got to do, get to the end of the season. We played a national championship there. Yeah, and so, SEC I, is SEC, there. Yeah, you still got to you know, get to the yeah. SEC as well. But opener, SEC, Peach Bowl, Natty. Natty. Atlanta is home. We ain't, we ain't got to really go nowhere. Yeah, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> I know we playing it for the natty, bro. We not coming down there until like the day before the I'm game. Saying, <laughs> like, it's gonna be I'm like saying, a regular no trip. We gonna practice at the facility. <laughs> I mean, I feel very comfortable, you know. Yeah, uh, facts. And it's like I feel like we got like a a more of a feeling of what's going on, how to play in the bands because you get yeah, hot. It do you definitely win. That's what people don't realize. Don't, like, it, man, it you been in the bands man. and they getting closed, and then like. Like people be they be cooking in there, so you get to smell like the food on the mm -hmm. field, and it just get muggy in there, and it man, yeah, it all get the people packing in like hard it's to breathe in there. Breathe. So you gotta it, definitely it be in really shape. Muggy in there. Um, but I mean, doing that and then the turf, yeah, the turf there is the first game Oregon. I nah, I was like man, I'm just sliding, sliding yeah, everywhere. Facts, but facts. feeling and get, getting to those games of being in there, I feel like I got a my cleats in the ground. I, mm -hmm. I know how to do it, and of course we got the you know our new indoor. You got, we got the same turf. No, yeah. it's the same turf as the Ben Stadium. It is. Mm -hmm. Damn. So, more we in there, we get acclimated in the in the indoor. Mm -hmm. Same thing, we can know how to play in the game. Facts. So, what were your thoughts on uh, the Georgia Tech Florida State game, man? Man, if I had opportunity to watch it live, it'd be it would be it would probably be good. Yeah. You know, I'm excited. You know, I felt like it was a good game. You know, two, yeah. I mean, two respective teams in their conferences. You know to battle it out in Dublin, that's <laughs> Ireland. Crazy. No, that's crazy. Yeah, like Ireland. that opportunity to go there Ireland. and have that atmosphere of playing college football there is, you, you will never forget that. That's yeah, just right. a different, that's just a different experience. Core memory. Of, sure. of course. Yeah. But I mean, 
uh, there's still a lot of football to be played. So, I mean, I think there was another game that night. I think SMU, SMU played. SMU, yeah, Uno. Got to watch Uno yeah. play. I, I got yeah. I got to re-up on that game. Yeah. And I still got to re-up on the Georgia Tech game. I still ain't watched that full game. I'm just seeing bits and pieces, pieces of it. But, yeah, sure. I mean, we still got some. We got former dogs playing the game. So, of course, I'm going to tune in for We got Marvin. My dog. We got, we got EJ. Yeah, we got sure. Goldie. Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, Brett Scyther. I mean, we got we got a lot of dudes. Are we missing anybody? No, nah, not the floor for the tech. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, it's exciting. I mean, I'm excited, you know. And then, of course, I got one of my cousins that play Georgia Tech, a bit Zeke. But I mean, I'm excited, you know, for the season, the rest of the season going on, because I mean, that's just the kicker. That's just the kickoff of college football. Right. I mean, yes, had- this week really. This one, college start, football, yeah. really, really start. You know, we playing, you feel me? <laughs> so, we zero just had me excited to watch college football again. Mm-hmm. Like I, I missed mean, it. Man, like it's been a long time, and we won't. I feel I seen something on Instagram. It's like we won't have some like a sport played all the way up till was it like April? Yeah, April on TV. So like we will have sports all the way up to April, and then of course we we'll go through that drought again. It was great this year because we had the Olympics to watch um, mm-hmm. during the summer and, and that, but. You know, this year um, we gotta find some something to do. Hopefully, we'll be busy during that time of you know April. You know, <laughs> you know getting, getting there. Yeah, man, we do it right. We do it right. Do, we do what it right. We need to do. Be a bank teller. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Ready enough, be the bro. bank teller. I can. You know, we do what we gotta do, and uh, hopefully, see that that vision we got going on for ourselves. So, what country would you want to play in if we had to play overseas? Man. What country are you picking? <sighs> I really want to go somewhere, somewhere like mm, you ain't ever just thought of. Yeah. Um, I was thinking, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to figure out a, a, a location where it's like, okay, you can, not too far. Yeah. So we can get the fans, the family, because of course I want the family. Okay, yeah. I want okay, them to go to the game. Logically. I want to. I want. I'm thinking logically. I'm not yeah, just I'm thinking, thinking like imagine like, like boom. If I had to pick Dubai, cool, yeah, Dubai. Man. But like everybody can't get to Dubai. Yeah, facts, facts. Um, I don't know. Uh, somewhere, somewhere not too far. Maybe to like a max six hour flight. Mm. Max six hour flight. So you know, fam can come. And of course, you know, Dog Nation gonna show up regardless facts. anywhere. So. Uh, don't matter how far it is. It could be across across the world. Shoot, we go to Tokyo. They gonna be there. Yeah, they travel. For <laughs> they sure. travel. No, we sure. travel we crazy, Arctic, man. They gonna be there. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. I don't have no. I don't have a like a, a ideal location of where I would like to play, but somewhere warm. Yeah, I'm thinking like I'm thinking like islands. That's first. Yeah, thing I, oh, yeah I'm trying to like you know, version. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm to, wow, wow. Yeah, I'm, no, for sure. you, no, for sure. I'm thinking like islands, though. I'm thinking like somewhere where the water clear, oh, uh, wow. like a beach, probably like about two, three miles from the stadium, <laughs> like like some crazy like See, that, like if I Bora Bora or something Bora, like Bora, Bora, cool. I'm like a thinking. Turks. Turks, whoa. Yeah, yeah like, like something like that. Like <laughs> stay in the high game. Uh, Zanzibar. Man, I ain't heard of that. See, you talking about islands, I ain't even. See, that's. Yeah, bro, you a boy. That's, my that's, pay my, grade, that's bro. where I want to That's where I want to go on vacation, vacation. Man. That's my next voca- vacation spot. But like, I can't. You're doing all right, huh? Yeah, You're doing I, all right. I want to bring the team there and they're going to exploit it and then, boom, they're going to try to come back. I, I want to be the first to beat off. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm trying to be the first to be there, so. Um, shoot, I do have my aunt and my little cousins. They're from Fiji. Ooh. They say Fiji is like crazy. Crazy. Like where the water come from. Crazy. Like it, where it, the water it, come from. Like nah. You for real? Like that's crazy. That's nah, the, the, the water <laughs> that's, don't come from there, but like It yeah. say the mountains of Fiji. Like yeah, it gotta it, be that. Not, it, it's not real. That's not where the water come from, but like that's Fiji. Crazy. Yeah, like that's like, it's, it's crazy. Like they, I've seen pictures. Like I've seen the water there. Like the pictures they took. Like it's crazy. Mm-hmm. That's the location. Cool. I could play there too. There's six days left until we play our first game. Yeah. So if you're going there, you walking in the Mercedes Benz, you get off the bus, get into the locker room. What is a song? What is an artist? What What are you listening to to get you in that mode? 
Like, my dude is going, hey. What's, what's going to have you bounce? Chief Keith. Chief, Chief Sauce. Keith, boom. Chief Sauce. Wow. <laughs> Chief Sauce. Man, yeah, man. I'm, I'm okay. about to. Yeah. You know me. I'm a... Uh, Future. I'm, I'm play future. Yeah, future. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. What do I, I know? know you know, I'm gonna play future. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get. He gonna get me in the mode. Yeah. Um, I'm play. I like her. Yeah. She heard. Sure. Yeah. He, yeah. He's he yeah. smooth. Yeah, you feel me? Just get me in the mind. And then of course, like, I can't always turn up. You feel me? I gotta. I gotta do a calm before the storm. For real. Play a little. Uh, little gospel on. I might go job. low shimmy. Mm-hmm. I might go low okay. shimmy before. I might go like go hard with Chief Keep. Cause you know it'd be like. 70 minutes yeah. when we get to the stadium before we yeah. play. So I might just go hard oh, just to get right, then go low shimmy to mellow back down, okay, then cool. go back to like D Lo or Chief Key. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, just, just something to run, get me. Run out. Yeah, to but get you me feel back me? Right. I feel like we got like a good playlist of like warm up. Yeah, I mean, it'd be smooth. Playlist. But you know, D Line can't even go out like to walk. Yeah, no more. Like, I've seen that. Crazy. I've seen so But cool. like, we go out with shoe. Like, yeah. We warm up. <clears throat> Like, it's cool because I get the opportunity to warm up with Shoe, and then, like, I go over there with Coach D. Yeah, he gets you right. Get yeah. you, you know, get yeah. shifty for the game. Facts. But, like, I say, yeah, of course, I'm going to come crazy with Future, her, maybe something, something, something else. Mm-hmm. But then that calm before the storm, I'm going I'm to throw a little R&B in there. Mm. I'm a, oh I'm yeah, you a maniac. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing. This man listen to gospel and, gotta, and R&B gotta, before you go strike somebody. I gotta feel everything. I gotta feel fulfilled. Going yeah, you on. a maniac. Man, I'm going there. I play a little John P. Key. Okay. I'm going a little Anita Baker. Ooh. Oh man, they, <laughs> yeah. I'm mixing it up. I'm going. I'm going some old, real old school. I got an old soul, so I'm. You know, feel me. I'm, I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna do that, and then I mean that just get me calm, like. That just that nervous out the game because you know game one you always just get that. I'm, you know what I'm saying? That's why I feel like this shit's so different because like, man, I'm not. I'm excited, man. I'm, like, I'm like, thing, I like, can't wait. I don't just, got no. Like, I can't wait. Like, like I'm, I'm excited. Any like, other game before? Play. Any other game before? I'm like, okay, bet. Like this first game, you're like. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me, let me breathe. I feel like I was thinking different about it back then compared to now. Like now, I'm just like I'm excited. Yeah. It ain't nothing but like. Yeah. But this this guy. It's a know, different type of confidence. Oh, this this guy. Oh my God. Blessings. Yeah. <laughs> man. <laughs> Blessings. Man, dog. it's gonna be one. Man, it's gonna be a great game. It's gonna be a great day, man. I just yeah. I just can't wait to get out there and uh. We blessed. Aren't we? Yeah, we blessed, bro. Highly blessed and highly. This is Michael Williams. Jalen Walker. And this has been Bulldogs Unleashed.